Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today I'm going to look in on my cocoon only bins. Let's take a look. Okay, so it certainly looks like they've been moving around the bin, and it also looks like the moisture has stayed good in here. Let's see if I can get one of our little friends here. So that's still pretty little. I don't know if that's uh, the second generation or not. Let's get another couple. Oh, that's just one. Still kind of little. They are making, you know, nice castings in here. So that looks like part of an apple we're still working on. I was going to feed them, but if what I'm looking at over here is quite a quite a concentration of the worms underneath that apple, and they're all still really little. Look at that. Kind of weird, huh? I have a nice worm ball, but they are all very tiny, and these are red wigglers. So I'll keep digging in here and seeing. Here's another piece of apple. Another good worm ball, though. I mean, that's nice to see. As far as the overall size, though, I mean, that's against my finger, and here's most of them that are considerably smaller. So it's not a lack of food, for sure, because they're definitely not having a lack of apples, and here's another piece of apple. P.S. Good apple crop this year. So they've got lots of food in here. Don't want to push my luck with trying to promote worm growth with too much food. But I think I'm going to give them a little bit more bedding so they have a little bit more real estate. Okay, so that's just like one handful more of bedding. But I don't, you know, I was going to feed them, but now that I see that there's quite a few more apples in there, I think I'm just going to let them be. Okie doke. Well, let's uh, close these guys up and go look and see what the European night crawlers are doing after I wash my hands. Okay, here we are in the European Nightcrawler um, cocoons only bin, and they're d obviously they're bigger, but they're bigger anyway. It's a bigger worm, and I'm seeing. Whoop! Holy cow! I'm in my own shadow here. Let's kind of just flip this part over here and see what we find. So, you know, just as as a reference, these guys are probably five times, ten times bigger than the the ones we saw next door in the the red wiggler bin, but I mean this is a mature worm now. So I'm looking at most of them, you know, being mature breeding size worms. They all have the clitellum. I still have quite a bit of food in here. Oops, sorry about that. Get the camera. Dig down in the corner here and see what we get. So, same story, I would say, they're doing, you know, about the same. The size of the worms is, I mean, you can tell, it's got a clotellum, so it's breeding age, but they are not the size of the worms in my other bins. 
So whether that is a function of the fact that these are really small bins, uh, they're five gallons each, and I think all of them, I mean, they're making nice castings. So I'm going to do the same thing I did to the other, the other bin, and I will put some more bedding in there, give them a little bit more real estate, and... I don't know. Maybe I'll take that back. I'll both. I'll give them both a handful of food this week. Okay. So moist bedding and. I will just give them another handful of my leftover apple stuff. We'll do that right here. So it's literally just as much as I put in my hand. I've been trying to do the same thing for both of these bins. So even though there is still some apple left here, I'm still going to give them a handful of apple and we will see what they do next week. All right, guys, give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be a member of my little wormy family. And hit the little bell icon if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good night.